This video will introduce you to the Recreate user interface. When you open Recreate for the very first time, you will be presented with the welcome screen in the built-in browser. From here, you can access key areas to get you started, such as the online tutorial videos and the Getting Started page. Use the search bar in the Help to find commands. You will find a detailed explanation of how to use each function. If you don't have access to the internet, switch to local to access the offline help. Across the top, we have the main ribbon toolbar, made up of various tabs. The Home tab contains the most commonly used commands. The Wireframe tab contains sketching and 2D editing commands. In the Solids tab, you will find 3D commands such as Solid and Feature Creation. The Surfaces tab contains complex surfacing and model repair commands. The Annotations tab has the 2 and 3D dimensioning commands. From the Analysis tab, you can interrogate and validate 2 and 3D geometry. And finally, the Reverse tab, which contains all the dedicated reverse engineering functionality. When inside any command, Press the F1 key on your keyboard to open the contextual help. Using the quick search is easy to find any command. Hide the command dialog by selecting the blue arrow. This then operates as a flyout when the mouse hovers over it. Pin any windows you want to keep visible and dock them to optimize your layout. All docking windows can be accessed from the window drop-down. In the top left of the application, you'll find the Quick Access Toolbar. Here you will find common application functions such as New, Open, Save, Undo and Redo. All the toolbars are fully configurable to suit your needs. The file menu enters the backstage where you can access more common application functions such as file insert and save part as. Here you can view your recently opened parts and view them in the 3D window. Any parts or folders that are frequently used can be pinned so they stay at the top. Double clicking on a file from the backstage will open it. The structure tree can be used to control the visibility of elements. In the top right of the graphics window is the head up display toolbar. You can choose from a variety of shading options and predefined views. Or show the last selected view. Include all will fit your part to the graphics window and you can toggle between orthographic and perspective modes.
Utilize the bottom toolbar to access regions, selection filters, and the dynamic query. Here, we're using the dynamic query to give us information about the size of this mesh. You can activate the crosshair cursor, change the work plane focus, view the units, and also see your X, Y, Z cursor coordinates. The environment filters in the bottom right of the graphics window control what can be selected. Activate the global multi-select option in order to select multiple items in every command. Leaving only the face option highlighted, we can only select faces on the model. Edges enables us to only pick edges. and elements only entire bodies or elements. That concludes this recreate tutorial.